So, how many times have you gone into a retail store and searched for somebody to help you? And you walk the aisles, aisle after aisle, search after search, just looking for somebody to help you with a question you have. And then you find somebody. And you ask them that question, and unfortunately, a lot of times, they may not have the answer that you're looking for. But what do they do? Usually at that point, they pull out a two-way radio, and they broadcast to the entire store. They send out this message. Oftentimes, it goes unanswered. But if that fails, don't worry. Then comes the, follow me, we'll go find somebody who can answer your question and you'll go marching through the store. In our view, it doesn't have to be this way. And at Theatro, we're looking to change this. So I'm Chris Todd. I'm the president and CEO and founder of a two-year-old technology company based in Dallas that is pioneering the use of enterprise wearables in the retail space to change your shopping experience. We firmly believe that associates in a store should be heads up, hands free, and engaged with you as a shopper. Good eye to eye contact, readily available, useful information. That's all we really want. That's what we want. That's why we ask them for help. Unfortunately, if you really think about it, the associates that work in most stores, at best, they have a radio. They're untethered, they're not connected to the internet, they don't have access to the company's information systems. It's really unfair. We are, oops, went the wrong way. We have developed what we think is truly the true next generation communications platform to connect the retail associates to the company's IT resources to increase their productivity and change your shopping experience. At the end of the day, what we are, in a nutshell, we make wearable technology. We make this little device right here. It's in the picture. We make our own hardware, but we're also a software company. We connect this device. It's got a little microphone in the top for my demo, but we make this device here, and it connects to the Wi-Fi network within the store, up to the cloud that hosts our applications, Right? And our suite of applications are centered around really three things, communications, location, and analytics. So from a communication standpoint, we're radically changing what's available today within a store. With a radio, that's legacy technology, 1950s technology. You can't build apps for radios, okay? The radio is not connected to the IT network. It's not extensible. There's very, very limited you could do with it. But it's easy to use, and it's ubiquitous everywhere. But we're going to change that. With a communications app, that enables not just broadcast, the ability to push a button and everybody hears it, but also the ability to have one-to-one -one communication, one-to-group communications, store-to-store. -store. It's all within a cloud, the cloud network, the Internet. So it's all possible from a communication standpoint. That enables team selling. That's going to radically change the way the retail floor operates and ultimately the way that uh, you get served as a customer. We couple that with location. So we've built an indoor location algorithm that triangulates off the Wi-Fi network, utilizes low-powered Bluetooth and so forth to enable the associates to find each other within a store. If you can imagine, when you go into a Home Depot, and you start looking for an associate. How do you think, if you can't find them, how do you think the manager can find them? They don't know where their employees are either, because you don't know. The only thing they can do is get on the radio and call for them. Unfortunately, most of the communication that goes on in the ear is clutter. It's actually not distant for the person that hears it. For those of you that are in the room that are older, probably like myself, you remember in most, a lot of retail stores, it used to come out of loudspeakers. You know, they'd blare aisle number three, we need this support and so forth. That still happens, but they moved it from there to the ear with those headsets. That is very distracting. When you're talking to a, uh, an associate, you can tell when they start staring off into the distance because they're listening. They're not paying attention to you.
That shouldn't be, right? So location is really critical, and we've coupled that with, uh, with the communications aspect. And then analytics. We talked a little bit about that on the panel discussion this morning. The ability to actually improve productivity, but because looking at coverage, where do they spend their time in the store? What areas are getting attention? What areas are not getting attention? There's a lot of people focused on, on uh, tracking consumers and that whole push. But if you look at it, how do you know that you have the right people in the right place to serve the customers if you know where the customers are? We make sure that we'll, we'll handle that as well. We deliver our, our solution uh, as a SaaS model, or provide our, our wearable free of charge. It comes with the service. Um, so that allows us to take the technology risk. We're going to continue to innovate and innovate and innovate these things and kill, come out with new ones and new ones and new ones. Um, fortunately for us, the payback is about less than two months, so we can, we can iterate on it pretty aggressively. It's usually about this time in, the, in, a, in a presentation that somebody will ask the question, well, you know, that's, all, that's a lot of good stuff, but can't you do, you know, can't you just do that with an app and a, you know, put it on the belt, I mean, on an app, on a smartphone and put it on the belt, put an earpiece in the ear and so forth? Why, why do you need a wearable? Well, there, interestingly enough, there's a lot of reasons, and this is what we found out as a company when we started building apps, is this device is not very good for retail. First of all, I have to hold it in my hand. Yes, I could put it on my belt, but I also have to look at it to use it. Okay, the battery life, if I turn on the Wi-Fi, the battery life's not going to last a whole shift. I can't uh, turn up the volume loud enough for a lot of environments, right? So there's a lot of reason. Cost aside, the, uh, it's just not a good example. I'll, I'll give you a good case in point. Well, let me make one point. You, you will find smartphones and tablets in retail. Mobile point of sale, management dashboards, there's a lot of cool stuff. I mean, I think Lowe's bought... bought uh, 40,000 of these devices, but they have 210,000 employees. That means 170,000 got nothing, right? We're going to serve that end of the spectrum. But if, here's my case in point. Everybody in here has probably been to the Apple store. Been to an Apple store, right? What does every Apple employee have? They have one of these, or they have an iPad. They probably have both. But you know what else they have? They got a two-way radio in their back pocket with that earpiece in their ear. It's not practical to use this to call somebody 30 feet away. You wouldn't do it. It would take too long. You might as well walk over there and say something to them. Where it's a perfect opportunity for wearables to change the game, right? And we augment this. We don't replace it. We just extend it and so forth. And that's why the application for us has been so, so successful. This is to uh, tell you a little bit about Theatro. Like I said, we're an early stage company. We've been working on about two years. Um, we just announced today in our press release our nationwide rollout with the Container Store. So we are going to go into uh, if every one of their stores and uh, utilize the little devices that I have here. Um, I actually have, if I do dare do a live demo, um, this one right here is actually connected through the internet, through the cloud, to their store in Austin, okay? And if you turn on the audio on that one, if there's any live traffic, I actually have logged into the cloud as if I'm in the store. It thinks I'm in the store, okay? If I press that button, all the employees in the store will hear, <laughs> unless I'm saying like free beer in the break room, I'm, <laughs> I'm probably get in trouble. But um, we may hear something go on there. It just depends on if there's any traffic. That's all, all I'm gonna hear here is the broadcast, right? If somebody broadcasts to everybody. What we found is with our communication, because we enable one-to-one -one communications, the amount of clutter in the ear has gone down by 80%. So actually, the network is quiet, which enables you to provide more information um, and, and uh, training and so forth you know, once you quiet the ear. Uh, so that's a little bit about us. I did bring a demo today. I thought I might try this if it works. I've not uh, the track record of a lot of... I think uh, folks that have gone before me is not making me uh, too excited. As they say, never, use, never do live de demos in technology, never use children, and never use animals. Well, you know, I'm going to use technology. I don't have children and animals up here. But um, anyways, what I have is I have two of our communicators here, our little wearable devices, and I've got one of them tied into the audio system. So if you'll turn this one on as well, I'm going to see if it is set up. And I am going to put on a headset 
so that I can speak into it. I, I brought my office headset, not the ones they normally wear in the store. Uh-oh, I'm out of time. I'll be here if anybody wants to do a demo. Sorry.